District Public Service Commission pits a Jackson City Councilman against a former candidate for the same office. 12 News, Gerald Harris reports. Democrat Jackson City Councilman DeKeith Stamps and Republican Brent Bailey are facing off to be the next Public Service Commissioner for the Central District. Bailey, who ran in 2015 but law, says there are conservative solutions to issues facing the office of PSC, like new ways to find energy. There's certainly a price point out there that's going to be more attractive, not just to residential homeowners, but to small business and even large industries who have, whether it's a sustain, internal sustainability goals they want to meet, um, you know, reducing their carbon footprint. We Councilman Stem says the use of renewable resources should be utilized better in Mississippi. And these are proven things that are done all over the country, but not to the degree that they should here in Mississippi. And I feel that this is a way to keep our rates low and uh, to be more effective in how we produce energy. The current Public Service Commissioner, Democrat Cecil Brown, is not seeking re-election. The Central District covers 22 counties. Many of them are rural and in need of high-speed Internet. Stamp says growing the economy will entice electric operators to come into town. Grow that local economy, and that's what we're talking about, is looking at all of the school district properties and in in the county properties and in, in the city properties so we can look at ways we put solar panels out there and other renewable energies so that we can grow that economy locally so then the electric cooperatives can partner with um, those different entities. It's not going to happen tomorrow, but there's certainly opportunities over the next few months and, and next couple years to, to bring all this into focus. And, and as we continue to see technologies improve, become more cost effective, um, I, I certainly think we're going to cover that gap and get it there sooner rather than later. Election day is Tuesday, November 5th. In Jackson, Gerald Harris, 12 News.